Liz Yule from Old Stables Crafts Stamping Up Demonstrator in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me again today. Today is Simple Stamping Saturday. It's one of my favourite days. It's also the 1st of June, so summer apparently has officially started. And I've got a giveaway, sort of. I've got free stuff, let's put it like that. Um, and tomorrow I'm doing a 5k run and I think I must be mad. But there we go. So, Simple Stamping Saturday is always featuring note cards and envelopes and then stepped up projects. I'm going to be cruel. I'm going to take my stepped up projects to one side. So, let's start with the simple version. Simple means quick in my mind. I don't mean beginner, I mean quick. So I'm using the beautiful, brand new Daisy Lane stamp set. This was a gift for anyone who attended the Stamping Up On Stage convention back in April. It goes with, let me grab it, I say goes with, it's, it sort of goes with the Daisy Delight. This has been in the catalogue for a while and you'll remember that there is a punch that goes with it. Guess what? There's another punch coming. Um, they're going to call it the medium sized daisy punch. So we're all very excited about that. Um, I haven't got it yet. It wasn't available as part of the pre-order uh, items. So I do not have it, but I am still really excited about it. I don't need dimensionals. Why have I left them out? Cause I'm a bear of little brain probably. So um, as ever, I try to keep my simple quick version to minimal supplies so I've got two ink pads and I have got an optional Wink of Stella brush marker thingy um, because I don't know if you can see hopefully you can see that that's what I put in the middle there and it will become apparent why uh, as I go on so let's start making the new one. Oh, and because it's simple stamping Saturday we mustn't have a naked envelope so, pop those to one side. I am using white note cards um, because I think that's the perfect background for this particular project. And I'm going to start, always helps if I can see my original really, doesn't it? I'm going to start with the lovely, and I really do mean it's gorgeous, um, fern. It's just super, and I'm going to be sacrilegious. I'm going to stamp it off on my beautiful paper but it's got to the point where it's beginning to get dirty so it's time to change so I'm going to stamp once and once again just so there's some sort of background for my stamping and then oh no I need that I don't know why I'm closing it then I'm going to take my stalk and Stamp that. Now I can get rid of my old olive. Mango Melody. I'm going to do this in a slightly odd order. I'm going to do the sentiment first. And that just goes down in the bottom right hand corner. And then the daisy. Now there is a right way up and a wrong way up for me. I think having the smaller petals at the bottom is the right way up. Ink it up well and pop it down. Slightly overlapped the stalk but that doesn't matter. Um, and then while the ink is still wet we can come in with the brush and do that. And then a little bit of cheating we can come in with the chalk marker and start to just blend that out a bit so it's not as obvious that it's there yep so not quite as obvious as it was that it was there um, and then if you want to you can come in with a blender pen. This is only if you've made the mistake that I've made. Come in with a blender pen 
and just add a bit more mango over the top. And I always make sure that I've cleaned off my, my blender pen before I leave it. So that is our simple stamping card. So let's fold that in half. And it's just a note card. And then all we need to do is dress up our... Don't need that, I need the old olive back. Dress up our envelope. And that is just bringing in the fern. Stamp off and stamp. Simple as that, but it just gives something. Which I like a bit of something. A bit of frou-frou. So there we are. As I say, that one I've slightly over... I got a bit too close. The reason for that was on this one I actually had to draw in lines because I'd gone too far away. I've now overcompensated, but there we go. Um, so those are our quick cards. Then to step it up a bit, I have gone kind of... Uh, it's a mix between realistic and not. And I've introduced the punch from the punch box that is carrying over. I want to say delightful. Oh, what's it called? Punches. Punches. Is it going to come under kits, do you suppose, in the new catalogue? Uh, no, apparently not. Well, that would be too easy, wouldn't it? Uh, punches, punches, punches. There we go. It's called... It's called It's Not In That Bit Of The Catalogue. Marvellous. OK. Um, I haven't got my way round the new catalogue yet. And it shows. And I can't show you. No. Can't find it. Um, can't find it. I'm sure it's delightful something. Darling, that's what it is. Darling label punch. I knew it was something like that. It's the darling label punch. So all I did was uh, stamp the smile, punched it out and then trimmed it. But you could just punch it, up, um, stamp it on a piece of card that's the right width. But it then means you've got the mango melody sticking out. Uh, and then I've punched two Daffodil Delight and one Mango Melody um, Daisy with a punch. Uh, layered them up and added the faceted gem in the centre and then the medium and the small and the mango melody and for both I punched out of this mango melody layer but you wouldn't know the only people that will know are you and me so that's the stepped up version and then the really stepped up version is this and I have to say I'm thrilled with how this came together so I made it's a standard card that's just scored to make a gatefold or heart no z fold um, and then I have fussy cut the stem I have fussy cut the smaller of the daisies because we don't have the punch out yet um, but I've using this lovely new stamp set I've embossed it with gold one of these and one of these and then this uh, I've also embossed in clear embossing with Mango Melody and because I did it on vellum there is enough time because it takes a while for ink to dry on vellum there's enough time to get your clear embossing powder over your stamp um, and then I did the simple stamping here and then the smile there so it would appear on your shelf like that so I am I have to say, I shouldn't say, but I am absolutely thrilled with how that turned up. Uh, turned out. This is all on dimensionals, and so faceted gems. This would be quite expensive to post. I would probably close it to post it, just to protect these bits. Um, but there we go, so let's pop these in order. So, quick, simple. A little bit more complicated with some punches, and then some heat embossing, a fancy fold, etc. Now, I said I was going to do some free product. So, if for anyone who purchases the Daisy Lane stamp set through me, from my online store, which is linked below, between launch day, the 4th of June, and the 22nd of July, that's the 4th of June to the 22nd of July, if you purchase this stamp set, 
I will gift you a full, as opposed to this, full set of gold faceted gems. Fingers crossed they don't go out of stock. Um, so yes, for every person who buys the Daisy Lane stamp set, they will get a pack of the gold faceted gems from me, free! And it will come out with the month um, customer gift. So if you order it on the 4th of June, you'll get it in the middle of, uh, sort of middle part of July. If you order it in July, you'll get it in the beginning of August. So thank you very much indeed for watching. I love this stamp set. I mean, look, look what you can do with it. That is just, oh, or something quick and simple. Oh, love it. Absolutely love it. Thank you very much indeed for watching. I hope you found that fun. Um, I will have just the information for, well, actually, I say that. There won't be dimensions on the blog post because there never are for Simple, simple Stamping Saturday. I will list the products, assuming the links are working, um, in the order in which I introduced the product. And the reason I say I'm hoping it will, I'm hoping I can link Daisy Lane, although it won't be available until the 4th of June. So I will list the products in the order in which I introduce them, just so that you can see how I built it up. Thank you very much indeed, and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye!